Hello everyone, this is Bam Dele from Delaroy Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at how to integrate Google Plus sign-in into an Android application. Uh, in this tutorial, uh, we're going to learn how to integrate Google Plus API to sign in user in your Android application. Google Plus sign-in lets users sign into your Android app with their existing Google account and you thereby get their profile information like name, email, profile picture and all that details. So let's begin, you know, but the first prerequisite of this application is we're going to register the application. Uh, we're going to do that in the Google Cloud Console, right showing it on your screen, you know, this is the console.cloud.google. Uh, this is where you try to enable some APIs for Google, you know, where you do the maps, uh, the YouTube, uh, a lot of APIs, you know, calls. Okay, uh, you are seeing this dashboard this way because I have some projects on this platform. So on this drop down over here at the top right corner, I have some projects, you know, that I've actually uh, created in this Google console. Now I need to create a new project so that it's just going to be dedicated for this particular uh, tutorial. So I click on create a project okay uh what's the project name i'm going to call it google plus login okay uh i think this is fine click on create okay uh actually if you notice this rolling uh all right okay all right we have our, our google plus login uh dashboard so i would like to enable and manage some apis so i would like to walk around these let me click on manage apis okay so i'm gonna look out for the google plus uh api okay this google maps this gmail okay Apps. Okay. okay google plus api all right so i'm gonna click on this okay so it's right enabled i'm gonna enable it no click on enabling okay so this api is enabled but you can use it in your project until your credentials you no know? so you click go to credentials to do this you no know, it's very strongly recommended uh but i really want to do one or two things here but we're still gonna look at that okay now let's go to our credentials and let's 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 get let's get some configuration rolling okay all right um okay google plus Assessing data, is the data application data? Okay, what data will you be assessing? Okay, use the data. Where will you be calling the API from? Should be from Android. You tell me what kind of credentials you need. Google Plus API. Okay, I think that's fine. You know, access user data, which is very important. Okay. All right, click on what credentials do you need? Okay, so you're gonna create an as OAuth 2.0 client ID. You know, the name is Android Client One. Fine. Now, uh, from the manifest, what's gonna be the manifest of the application? It's com. Dot. Um, let me quickly look at the manifest of the application, which is com. Dot. Delaroy Studios dot Google Plus login from the Delaroy Studios dot Google Plus login. Okay, with this we have our SSH key, which is uh, right shown here. But I would like to to create our client ID. Okay, 
we need to generate a fingerprint, uh, which is the SHA-1 signing certificate. Uh, for us to get this running, we have to go to our command line, which is um, CMD. This is a Windows 10 machine. Okay. So you can also do this on Linux, on Unix, or Mac. Okay. Right on my command line, you have to open the command prompt. Okay, now uh, I need to locate where the debug key store situates. Okay, I can find it in my users through my C directory onto my users, the name of the user, and the dot Android. Okay, I'd like you to go to that part. Uh, you can find the debug key store over here. Okay, I've actually copied it into a text document and I have it. Uh, somewhere here so i need to copy it out and go back to my command prompt my command okay all right to bring my command alone to foreground okay or oh, i'll need to to give uh write a command here key to space hyphen export certificate search I think key stuff. Okay. Now the path to to the key stuff. So I need to paste this in into here by pasting it here. Okay. Um list with a V. Okay. Click enter. Okay. So it's asking me to enter password or uh, what should be our password. Let me just uh, use Google Plus login since that's the name of the application. Google Plus login. Okay, that's fine. Okay. All right. I have an error here which was trying to tell me that the password uh was incorrect okay i think we need to do this all over okay password all right uh you actually don't need a password for a debug key stuff sorry for that uh you actually don't need a password i think that was what caused the first error but this time uh i just click on after the after asking for the password i just click on my entry button so you actually don't need a password to recite, but it has actually generated the fingerprints, the MD5, the SH1, and SH2, 256, but we, all, we only need the SH1, which I'll be copying at the moment, or uh, I gotta click on select on Mac first, that I'll be able to select the particular one I need. Okay, this SH1, so I copy it out, I go back to my text document and paste it in. I hope you got that uh, uh, information there. You know, once you once you type in your the directory to your key store with key to export search key store, which is the debug key store, that's the directory to the debug key store. Uh, I think list, I think V. It's going to ask you for a password. It's going to prompt up for a password. So don't type any password then anyways. You don't need a password because it's a debug uh, key store. It's like a default uh, key store. So you click on your enter button immediately afterward. So this is going to generate uh, the SH3. Uh, it's going to generate the MD5 and and also the SHA256. So I only need the SH1. Uh, I only need the SH1 for the course of the application. So I've actually copied that, and I'm going to come over to my console i'm gonna copy this alone i'm gonna copy come over to my console here and paste in the fingerprint okay that's accepted so i need to create uh a client id here okay by clicking on create client id all right 
uh the email uh in question is um my my email anyway so the production name shown to users what's going to be the production is just going to be the name of the application which is google plus login okay uh let me click on continue uh so so that is just going to generate my client id that's what i'm waiting for at this moment wow that's wonderful okay get my client id over here okay that's cool i need to copy this out as well okay copy it out go back to my text editor uh this is somewhere there that's fine so i'm going to keep it safe uh you can as well download this in json format uh but you actually don't need to do that but all has been done and dusted so i will have to extract to my application and because we are going to incorporate this client id in the in the course of the session okay uh click on done which i'm finished with the with the setup of the application and that's fine all right i'm going to move forward to my uh android studio where i'm going to run down or show a high level rundown of how the application is actually be developed and how to include our client id and how to get uh the login working okay 